Going live is no longer harder than handing in homework you copied off in Carter 96 at school and not getting caught. There are many options that allow you to put on live events to closed groups of people, as well as broadcast to anyone, as well as multiple platforms at a time. Here's our rundown of the platforms you should consider checking out for your next live event. First up we have OBS. OBS is a free service and it enables you to stream live to YouTube, Facebook and pretty much everywhere. You can connect it to video calling platforms like Skype and stream live interviews or multi-guest webinars which again can still be done without spending a penny. Inside you can build anything from a simple camera on screen setup to multiple scenes with designs and overlays that boost your production to the next level. And running in a live event is easy once it's all set up. Just click on the scene you want to show in your live and you're producing like a TV show. You can also add your camera and mic to the setup at the touch of a button or two, which brings us onto the cons. Setup. There is no doubt that OBS is powerful, but there are a lot of options, a lot of things you can do, and as a result, it's pretty flipping confusing when you start out. You can change bitrate and camera streaming quality and audio rate and blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure that's all most people are hearing right now. And I'm in audio bitrate for any of you. You know who you are. I also find that it does eat up quite a lot of processing power, so all the computers might not like it. The other downside is to stream to multiple platforms at the same time, you need to throw in more software. So let's say you wanted to live stream an interview that was remote to LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. You'd need Skype to hook up to OBS, then you'd build the set and the show in OBS, then you'd need to connect to another piece of software like Restream, and then Restream would send it to your platforms, and suddenly you've got a whole load of confusion again. Now OBS is fantastic, check it out for simple streams to individual platforms, but for many who are new to this, going might feel like a bit of a steep learning curve. Two, Streamlabs OBS. So this is OBS, but it won't give you anxiety. The more advanced streamers out there, it might not be enough. But for the average business or creator who wants to start going live, this is an easier entry point. Now, the layout's similar. You can build scenes with graphics and overlays to brand your content and make it more creative, dial in guests on Skype, just like OBS, and stream to your platform of choice. It does have some other features that may or may not tickle your pickle too. You have the ability to receive tips, put an animated tip jar on screen, add sponsor banners, view counts, destination goals, and a host of other animated features that might make your stream more engaging. Now, this is the bit I think is awesome. If you upgrade to their Prime membership for $149 a year, you can then easily stream to multiple platforms at once. You also have access to pro streaming themes, which will make your streams look slick. On top of that, there's some apps you can use and you get given a website builder for your stream. And I love this next bit, a merchandise store. But it's drop shipping, so you can design a t-shirt and not have to store it anywhere. When people order it, these guys make them and send them on and everyone makes money and everyone's happy. Your next streaming software to check out is Ecamm. Now, PC users, cover your ears. This one's Mac only. To start off with, it's free but only for two weeks as a trial. After that, it will cost you $12 a month or 20 if you want to stream 4K and add virtual webcams and some other features. Good luck streaming 4K. First thing I'd say about Ecamm is it's very, very easy to use. You can dial in guests like the others, share screens like the others, but the control process is really fluid, especially compared to OBS. You can add up to five guests with Skype, add overlays, play pre-recorded videos, but actually these are all things you can do on the others mentioned too. So why would you buy it? Well, like I said, it's really easy to use. I mean, it will save you a lot of time, but also you can add these very cool chat pop-up boxes to your videos. So if someone messages on Facebook during your live, you can click it, display it, and everyone can see it. Once again, being very easy to do. You can also use eyeglasses to tweak your image and make it look better. In order to stream it to multiple platforms though, you'll need to hook it up to a platform like Restream, which does start out free. But then when you do, you can display chat comments from over 20 platforms. I'd recommend downloading the trials to test this out. Number four is StreamYard. So the free version enables you to stream to one platform, but before we move on to the paid offering, it's worth talking about how simple this is to use. The whole thing is browser-based, so you can run this off an old computer easily. The other cool thing is you don't need to dial in interviews via Skype. People just follow the link you send them and enter the system and then you can have six people on screen too. There really is hardly any hassle setting up a multi-stream interview. And of course it goes to all the platforms you'd expect. Mega easy. 
on the free one, you're left with a watermark, I'm afraid, though. So step it up to the paid version and you can get 10 people on screen to interview at once, which is loads. Start adding overlays and stream to three different destinations for $20 a month. But if you want to go nuts, you can go to eight destinations and full 1080p for $39 a month. Oh, and by the way, like Ecamm, you can display comments easily on screen too. So looking at all of the options, there's something for everyone in each. OBS, this gives you tons of freedom with the setup and allows you to do pretty much anything from amazing set design to adding videos, guests, and customization. But you might need multiple pieces of software and patience to learn how to use it to its finest. Streamlabs OBS. I'd say this is more for creators than businesses. The creative additions are fun, but not very corporate. But then again, corporate, corporate is boring. Paying to stream to multiple platforms makes it easy keeping everything under one roof. And the fact that it enables you to monetize your lives so easily is amazing. And they don't take cuts from tips. So Ecamm, now I'd recommend this for businesses who use Macs. This is easy to use and the comment feature is excellent. Yes, you can do this with the others, with add-ons, but it often requires mucking about. And then there's StreamYard. It's for those who just want to make life super easy when it comes to streaming to multiple platforms with multiple guests. Stream with anyone, anywhere. There's one more piece of kit I've mentioned a few times, and that is Restream. Now, this is the tool you'll need for Ecamm and OBS to stream to more than one platform at a time. Now, the free version covers more than 30 platforms that you can stream to at once. It's very easy to use and set up. You just need to add a stream key to your software, which their help videos will show you. So have a think about your own needs. Now, this is the problem here. There's so much you can do when you live stream, you end up in a muddle. Now, if you have any questions below, pop, pop them in the comments. Otherwise, check out this video here all about how to make professional looking streams or this one about how to set up a fancy pants camera to OBS and YouTube. I don't know where I was pointing.